Gapping spark plugs was once so common, almost every technician carried a gapping tool like this on their keyring or in their pocket. But thanks to precious metal, high ignited lead spark plugs, the coin or ramp style spark plug gapping tool should be relegated to the toolbox and replaced with more precise tools like these wire style gapping tools and feeler gauges. But to adjust the side electrode on a high ignitability spark plug might require a different approach and different tools. New tools can compress the electrode instead of bending it. Gapping the spark plug sits the distance between the two electrodes. This is a critical dimension that determines how the energy from the secondary ignition coil's windings goes through the spark plug. This can be seen in the secondary ignition's waveform or KV spike and even the firing line. If the distance between the electrodes is wider than specifications, the KV spike will have to be taller than usual. Also, the firing line will step out higher on the KV spike and it will typically be shorter. Conversely, if the gap is too narrow, the KV spike will be lower and the firing line will step out on a lower point of the spike and will be longer than usual. So how do you gap a spark plug? For older spark plugs, you would stick an older ram style gapping tool between the electrodes and gently bend the side electrode until the gap lines up with the scale on the side. But with newer precious metal plugs with high ignitability electrode designs, you should never use a ram style gapping tool because it will damage the electrodes. These types of plugs use fine wire center electrodes and often a side electrode with precious metal pieces that this tool can definitely damage. You need a tool like this to gap precious metal high ignitability spark plugs. Here is a wire style gauge tool. The wires of this are a specific thickness and are gently slid between the electrode. Do not force the gauge between the electrodes. If the gap is too small, you can use the end of the tool on the electrode to bend it back. If the gap is too large, you can use the same tool to bend the side electrode down so the gap is within specifications. With this type of tool, you can set the final gap using a feeler gauge. This tool uses a thumb screw to compress the side electrode to set the gap. By using this tool, you will have eliminated a process of measuring, bending, measuring again until the gap is correct. Some tools will have a hole like this that has a chamfered edge. Do not use this on a precious metal spark plug with a projected side electrode or a fine wire center electrode. Gapping spark plugs is still relevant and should be performed whenever spark plugs are replaced. Just be aware, the game and the tools have changed. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.